Welcome to Us Crazy Christians, where we uncover Christian myths and Bible misinterpretations with common sense Christianity. I'm your host, William E. Smith, and today we're going to talk about rubbing the lion. Stick around. I worked in the casinos in Detroit for a total of about eight and a half years. I'm, I'm, for the majority of the time, I dealt blackjack. There was a young lady who came and played nearly every day for years, to the point where we had built a relationship where we could talk candidly. I was her favorite dealer, so she would always come to my table. And this lady had a habit. She had a ritual. She would fight to get the cut card. If we had a table full of people, she would like beg and plead so adamantly to get the cut card that most of the time people would just surrender the cut card to her. Even if they wanted to cut and it was their turn to cut, they would give it to her and just let her cut so they had to hear her mouth. So, she would get the card and she would rub the lion on the table and then cut the, cut the deck or cut, you know, the shoe. So one day we're alone. It's just her and I at the table early morning and she's at the casino as usual and she rubs the lion. And I, I just said to her, I said, you know what, sweetie, let me ask you something. Why, why do you always rub the lion? I've been seeing you do this for years. She said, because I win when I do that. It brings me luck. And again, only because I had a relationship with her, I had known her for years, we were kind of friends now, so I said, that, that's not true. I said, I said, you rub the lion every time, but you've been losing all day today. I said, as a matter of fact, you lose most of the time. And she said, no, it's not, that's not true. No, it's not, and she's just adamant about it. And I'm like, you know, so I eventually, you know, I even, I even go confirm it just for my own thoughts later to find out, yeah, she's in a hole, matter of fact, I even remember her complaining, like, um, she's big time deep in the hole. But it's like she's ignoring that, like she don't even remember saying it. You just mentioned how deep you were in a hole. But now you're telling me you win more than you lose. That's not true. But she was convinced. When she walked away from the table, I was again alone. And then I felt like I heard God say to me, William, you do the same thing. As a matter of fact, a lot of my children do that same thing regarding me and the Bible. And that caught me off guard. He said, you forsake the truth and you ignore common sense that's clear in your face for a belief in something that has absolutely no foundation in truth. I had preconceived notions about God and the Bible that blinded me from truths. <laughs> and I know I'm not alone. I know that from interacting with people on this YouTube channel, from just dealing with people in my regular everyday life. Not to mention, God told me that not only do you do this, William, but a lot of my children do. As a matter of fact, regarding this YouTube channel, I run into people rubbing the lion all the time. I can present to them factual truths in scripture, proven clear, but because people have beliefs, something they heard from their praying grandma, from they pastor, they best friend who went to Bible college. No matter what proof is right there in their face, they refuse to let go of the belief in rubbing the lion. I, I felt like God gave me examples also of like how we can believe God did something in our lives. He did this and God rescued me from this and God did this. Things that we give God credit for, good and bad. God took my grandma. You know, blah, and all these different things. Like he gave me this disease so I can stop hoeing around. All these kind of weird things I hear Christians say. Again, giving God credit for something just based off of belief with no foundation in truth or facts. Again, rubbing the lion. You believe it brings you luck. You believe God did it, good or bad. But it's just a belief. It's not really true. If you check the actual figures and numbers, you'll see it's not there. This kind of thinking is why I started this YouTube channel, based off of common sense Christianity, which I myself ignored for many years and I'm embarrassed to admit. And as I talk to Christians on a regular basis, I see that a lot of them are still doing the same thing I did. We're ignoring common sense Christianity. People are simply avoiding truths to hold on to beliefs with no validity. And, I, and people are like, why you don't never get upset when people do this? Why would I get upset? I did that exact same thing for many years. And there are probably still areas where I'm rubbing a lion right now. I just haven't realized it yet. 
So I'm not upset. I just want to help you open your eyes and I want to keep opening my eye. Lubman the lion held me in bondage, but the truth sets me free every time. Examine yourself. Are you rubbing the lion? If you want to see more from us crazy Christians, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you're a returning guest and haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free. Plus, hit the notifications bell to be notified every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching us crazy Christians. Until next time, be blessed.